Well, Indonesia is developing a new offshore tsunami early warning system using GPS to monitor sea level changes. Now, the country's National Disaster Mitigation Agency, or BNPB, says the dynamic system could be implemented in the next five years. Saiful Bari Ismail looks at the critical role of such a disaster warning system in the second part of CNA's series, commemorating 20 years after the Indian Ocean tsunami. Simalu is one of many picturesque islands in Indonesia's Aceh province. Behind the natural beauty lies a tragic story. In 1907, a strong earthquake triggered a tsunami, killing hundreds of its inhabitants. Nearly 100 years later, Simalu was hit by a more devastating disaster. The Boxing Day earthquake and tsunami in 2004 ravaged the island, but fewer than 10 people were killed. This tsunami monument greets visitors arriving in Simalu from the nearby harbour. Residents here are proud about their tradition and they want to tell the world what they understand about tsunamis from past experience. Locals call it smong or giant waves and it's this local wisdom passed down from generations that has helped save lives in Simalu. Karina was 15 years old when the 2004 tsunami wreaked havoc and panic in a village in Simalu. Ketika surut air, kami mau lihat karena ada ikan-ikan tuh di, di depan rumah kebetulan memang laut. Uh, terus nenek bilang, oh, jangan ke sana, itu biasanya akan terjadi semong katanya, mau ada ombak besar. Kemudian kami diajak naik ke belakang rumah itu ada gunung kebetulan. Naik ke belakang pas naik air itu memang kelihatan langsung itu ada tiga kali naik. Rizwan is a cultural activist in Simalu and he said the local wisdom on tsunamis is an effective early warning system that helped minimize the death toll on the island. He actively passes down this tradition to the younger generation through poetry and songs. <laughs> Rizwan said a more concerted effort is needed to ensure the island's local wisdom is not forgotten. Pemerintah harus membuat sebuah kebijakan agar uh, Local wisdom ini, kearifan lokal ini menjadi muatan lokal di sekolah secara formal. While few people died in Simalu during the 2004 tsunami, other parts of Aceh were not so lucky. More than 130,000 were killed partly because of the lack of awareness of disaster mitigation. The 2004 tsunami led to the development of an early warning system that's essential to anticipate future disasters. It consists of a tsunometer anchored to the bottom of the seafloor and a surface buoy. If a large wave passes over the tsunometer, it will measure a higher pressure indicating an increase in water level. The system transmits an alert to the buoy which then passes the information to a satellite and on to the relevant authorities. If a tsunami is coming, alerts can then be sent out to the public prompting an evacuation. Indonesia's National Disaster Mitigation Agency, or BNPB, said there are plans to improve the offshore tsunami early warning system. If we discuss about the offshore equipment, it should be more distributed because if we only have limited equipment, then usually, usually it always at the wrong place at the wrong time. We are now currently assessing not a static equipment, but how to utilize the dynamic equipment. In example, how can we utilize the GPS available at the large vessel? Schools conduct disaster drills to better prepare in the event an alert is triggered. Drill tsunami ini sangat penting diberikan untuk siswa-siswi kita karena ini merupakan edukasi dan pembelajaran buat ananda kita biar mereka punya bekal untuk suatu saat jika mereka menghadapi kejadian yang seperti ini yang realnya mereka sudah ada bekal, sudah ada ilmu paling tidak bisa menyelamatkan diri sendiri. 
At the regional level, cooperation and coordination of disaster management amongst ASEAN countries is done by the AHA Center. The center, which is based in Jakarta, said the region is now better prepared to handle a major disaster. So 20 years on, we have moved far ahead in the regional and also uh, collaboration with international organizations as well. Although we are one of the most disaster-prone regions in the whole world, but in terms of capacity, in terms of resource mobilization, capability, and the planning and contingency plan to respond to disaster, we are considered quite well developed. The 2004 tsunami was a painful lesson for the Archonese, but there's confidence that with greater awareness of disaster mitigation and improvements in early warning systems, they can better survive another similar tragedy in the future. Saifulbari Smile, CNA, Simalu, Indonesia.